Well, Mr. President, let's talk a little bit about uh, China's uh, economic growth because uh, during China's political season, the two sessions, China has set its uh, economic uh, growth target yes. around 5% yes. for 2024. What is your take on this GDP target? I don't think the number is as important. I, whether you make, remember they said around five, so it could be a little below, a little above. I think what's important is two things. First, five itself is a remarkable number for an economy of this size. That is true. But China's size and the denominator effect is very different from what it was two or three decades ago. Mm -hmm. Second, I think they're going through a transformation of the economy for the future of China. The model that China used for growth for the last few decades was a model that worked at that time. They're trying to change that to a different model for the future. And that requires innovation, technology, green industries, consumption to grow. And I think that's a different way of growing. That transition period will take its time. But two things you should not forget and when you think about China's growth. The first is that even at around 5%, it's still contributing 30% of global growth. Exactly. Second, it has infrastructure in a way that most countries do not. Mm -hmm. It has 30% of the world's manufacturing capacity in this country. So it's got assets. It's got a skilled workforce. Mm -hmm. It has challenges. It has an aging population, and therefore that needs to be managed. So it's got challenges like every other country. I'm convinced that China will work hard on both the change of the economic model, but also managing through demographic changes. And China, as you just mentioned, has been a major driver and contributor to global economic growth. And a study from the World Bank has shown that uh, from 2013 to 2021, its contribution to global economic growth averaged more than 38 mm percent. -hmm. That's more than all the uh, G7 countries mm -hmm. combined. Mm -hmm. So how would you define the role of China in the global economic landscape that is filled with uh, uncertainties and uh, headwinds? My belief is that an economy of 1.4 billion people mm -hmm. with the size that today China is, has a role to play in world economic growth. Countries that are as large as China or the European Union's global economy or the United States, their economic growth and changes impact everybody else. And I think that is an important aspect of the global interconnected world that we have built. I think out over the period of time, a healthy, economically growing China is very important to the rest of the world as well.